Today I'm going to test the uh, <coughs> penetration of an 1845 uh, East India Company F pattern 75 caliber percussion musket. I'm going to be shooting through various, various thicknesses of uh, plywood. I've cut out six pieces of three quarter inch plywood. I shot through uh, one piece fairly, fairly easily as you can imagine, but I'm, I've added one more piece now. I'm going to add one more for each consecutive shot and see if uh, six, six pieces could stop the could stop a musket ball. Well, <clears throat> there's my first shot. As you can see, it's going through two pieces of the plywood. And you can tell pretty handily that it went through it went through both pieces without any trouble. So I'm gonna add a third piece now and see what happens next. And by the way, I'm I'm shooting 120 grains of black powder wrapped in a paper cartridge tied off at the end with a 69 caliber ball inside, which is pretty close to the military load. Now we're shooting at about 50 yards, uh, maybe 45. All right, here's our three pieces <coughs> of plywood. As you can see, there's the entry hole. I'm kind of aiming at a different spot each time, just in, just in by some random accident. I don't want it to go through the same spot. Um, so that you can see it goes through the first piece pretty handily. The second piece looks like it's, it's still full. There's a giant pushback in the end here, but I don't think there's any lead in there. And there it looks like it barely went through, but when you go around to the other side, there's a hole. So I haven't, I don't see the slug sitting anywhere, so it'll be interesting to see what happens when we try to go through four pieces. So I'm gonna add the fourth piece right now and take a shot. This is gonna be a redo of the four pieces of plywood. That's a little more like it. Hit pretty much dead on. So we go through one, two, three. Oh, look. I think we might have a musket ball in here. Well, maybe not. Did it squeeze through there somehow? There's our shot. It did. It did. I sure would like to find the musket ball. I'll have to look for it. So now we've gone through one, two, three, four pieces. Let's try five and see if that does the trick.
We're going to be going through, going at five pieces of three quarter inch plywood now. Let me get the powder out. A little bit of fouling in there now after the fourth shot for some reason. That usually doesn't happen. Okay, <clears throat> this is through five pieces of plywood. You can see the first hole. Second, third, fourth, wait, this is the fourth, and then the fifth here, and I tilted my sixth piece up against the back just to, just to see if we could catch the musket ball, and I don't see a hole in the back of the wood, so let's see, ah, look what we got here, there's our musket ball through five pieces of three quarter inch plywood. Let's try six and see if we can stop it. All right, this is for all the marbles. Do you think it'll make it through six? I'm thinking it's not. I'm thinking it's gonna get stopped. But you never know. Okay, this is six layers of three-quarter inch plywood. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to see how, how far we went through. We hit dead center on the first one. As you can see the hole went straight through. The second, the third, making a big mess. The fourth, the fifth. I don't, oh, there we go. So, at about 45 yards, we have an effective uh, penetration through about through five layers of three-quarter inch plywood. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that.